Bad Catholic here. I am a layperson who worships and resides within the Roman Catholic Diocese of Savannah. This will be the recitation of the service of morning prayer from the Episcopal Church's 1979 Book of Common Prayer uh, for today, for today, Saturday, October the 7th, 2017. Although I am a although I am a convert to Roman Catholicism, uh, I do have uh, affection and affinity for uh, Anglican worship and the Book of Common Prayer. For many years, uh, for many years, uh, I would uh, meet with uh, the priest and a parish administrator at the Episcopal Church that I attended, and say the Office of Morning Prayer uh, from the uh, from the Book of Common Prayer. Um, uh, almost every every day uh, uh, Monday through Friday um, and I uh, have become very fond of Anglican prayer and uh, the prayer book and even after becoming a Catholic uh, I still have a great deal of affection for Anglican worship and the uh, and the book of common prayer and uh, for my personal devotions I find I find it uh, to be more useful um, uh, for my personal devotions than the uh, than the Roman Catholic Liturgy of the Hours, although we will be we will be saying the uh, um, intercessions uh, from this book, Shorter Christian Prayer, which is uh, a shortened version of the Roman Catholic Liturgy of the Hours. <clears throat> Let us begin. Thus says the High and Lofty One, who inhabits eternity, whose name is Holy. I dwell in the high and holy place, and also with the One who has a contrite and humble spirit, to revive the spirit of the humble, and to revive the heart of the contrite. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed. By what we have done and by what we have left undone, we have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways, to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us all our sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen us in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep us in eternal life. Amen. Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. The earth is the Lord's, for he made it. Come, let us adore him. The Jubilate. Be joyful in the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness, and come before his presence with a song. Know this, the Lord himself is God. He himself has made us, and we are his. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving. Go into his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and call upon his name. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his faithfulness endures from age to age.
Psalm 33. Rejoice in the Lord, you righteous. It is good for the just to sing praises. Praise the Lord with the harp. Play to him upon the psaltery and the lyre. Sing for him a new song. Sound a fanfare with all your skill upon the trumpet. For the word of the Lord is right, and all his works are sure. He loves righteousness and justice. The loving kindness of the Lord fills the whole earth. By the word of the Lord were the heavens made. By the breath of his mouth all the heavenly hosts. He gathers up the waters of the ocean as in a water skin and stores up the depths of the sea. Let all the earth fear the Lord. Let all who dwell in the world stand in awe of him. For he spoke, and it came to pass. He commanded, and it stood fast. The Lord brings the will of the nations to naught. He thwarts the designs of the peoples. But the Lord's will stands fast forever, and the designs of his heart from age to age. Happy is the nation whose God is the Lord. Happy the people he has chosen for his own. The Lord looks down from heaven and beholds all the people in the world. From where he sits enthroned, he turns his gaze on all who dwell on the earth. He fashions all the hearts of them and understands all their works. There is no king that can be saved by a mighty army. A strong man is not delivered by his great strength. The horse is a vain hope for deliverance. For all its strength it cannot save. Behold, the eye of the Lord is upon those who fear him, on those who wait upon his love. To pluck their lives from death, and to feed them in time of famine. Our soul waits upon the Lord. He is our help and our shield. Indeed, our heart rejoices in him, for in his holy name we put our trust. Let your loving kindness, O Lord, be upon us, as we have put our trust in you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the second book of the Kings, chapter 19, verses 21 through 36. Isaiah the son of Amos sent to Hezekiah, saying, this is the word that the Lord has spoken concerning Sennacherib, king of Assyria. She despises you. She scorns you, the virgin daughter of Zion. She wags her head behind you, the daughter of Jerusalem. Whom have you mocked and reviled? Against whom have you raised your voice and haughtily lifted your eyes? Against the Holy One of Israel. By your messengers you have mocked the Lord, and you have said, With my many chariots I have gone up the heights of the mountains, to the far recesses of Lebanon. I felled its tallest cedars, its choicest cypresses. I entered its farthest retreat, its dense forest. I dug wells and drank foreign waters, and I dried up with the sole of my foot all of the streams of Egypt. Have you not heard that I determined it long ago? I planned from days of old what now I bring to pass, that you should turn fortified cities into heaps of ruins, while their inhabitants, shorn of strength, are dismayed and confounded, and have become like plants of the field, and like tender grass, like grass on the housetops, blighted before it is grown. But I know you're sitting down, and you're going out, and coming in, and you're raging against me. 
Because you have raged against me and your arrogance has come into my ears, I will put my hook in your nose and my bit in your mouth, and I will turn you back on the way by which you came. And this shall be the sign for you. This year you shall eat what grows of itself, and in the second year what springs of the same. Then in the third year sow, and reap, and plant vineyards, and eat their fruit. And the surviving remnant of the house of Judah shall again take root downward, and bear fruit upward. For out of Jerusalem shall go forth a remnant, and out of Mount Zion a band of survivors. The zeal of the Lord will do this. Therefore, thus says the Lord concerning the king of Assyria, He shall not come into this city, or shoot an arrow there, or come before it with a shield, or cast up a siege mound against it. By the way that he came, by the same he shall return, and he shall not come into this city, says the Lord. For I will defend this city to save it, for my own sake, and for the sake of my servant David. And that night the angel of the Lord went forth, and slew a hundred and eighty-five thousand men in the camp of the Assyrians. And when men arose early in the morning, behold, these were all dead bodies. Then Sennacherib king of Assyria departed, and went home, and dwelt in Nineveh. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Canticle number 12. Glorify the Lord, all you works of the Lord. Praise him and highly exalt him forever. In the firmament of his power, glorify the Lord. Praise him and highly exalt him forever. Glorify the Lord, you angels and all powers of the Lord, O heavens and all waters above the heavens, sun and moon and stars of the sky, glorify the Lord. Praise him and highly exalt him forever. Glorify the Lord, every shower of rain and fall of dew, all winds and fire and heat, winter and summer, glorify the Lord. Praise him and highly exalt him forever. Glorify the Lord, O chill and cold, drops of dew and flake, flakes of snow, frost and cold, ice and sleet. Glorify the Lord. Praise Him and highly exalt Him forever. Glorify the Lord, O nights and days, O shining light and enfolding dark, storm clouds and thunderbolts. Glorify the Lord. Praise Him and highly exalt Him forever. Let the earth glorify the Lord. Praise him and highly exalt him forever. Glorify the Lord, O mountains and hills, and all that grows upon the earth. Praise him and highly exalt him forever. Glorify the Lord, O springs of water, seas and streams, O whales and all that move in the waters, all birds of the air. Glorify the Lord. Praise him and highly exalt him forever. Glorify the Lord, O beasts of the wild, and all you flocks and herds, O men and women everywhere, glorify the Lord, praise him, and highly exalt him forever. Let the people of God glorify the Lord, praise him, and highly exalt him forever. Glorify the Lord, O priests and servants of the Lord, praise him, and highly exalt him forever. Glorify the Lord, O spirits and souls of the righteous. Praise him and highly exalt him forever. You that are holy and humble of heart, glorify the Lord. Praise him and highly exalt him forever. Let us glorify the Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Praise him and highly exalt him forever. In the firmament of his power, glorify the Lord. Praise him and highly exalt him forever. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians, chapter 10, verses 1 through 13. I want you to know, brethren, that our fathers were all under the cloud, and all passed through the sea, 
And all were baptized into Moses in the cloud and in the sea, and all ate the same supernatural food and drank, drank the same supernatural drink. For they drank from the supernatural rock which followed them. And the rock was Christ. Nevertheless, with most of them, God was not pleased, for they were overthrown in the wilderness. Now these things are warnings for us, not to desire evil as they did. Do not be idolaters as some of them were, as it is written, the people sat down to eat and drank and rose up to dance. We must not indulge in immorality as some of them did, and 23,000 fell in a single day. We must not put the Lord to the test as some of them did, and were destroyed by serpents, nor grumble as some of them did, and were destroyed by the destroyer. Now these things happened to them as a warning, but they were written down for our instruction, upon whom the end of the ages has come. Therefore, let anyone thinks, let anyone who thinks that he stands take heed lest he fall. No temptation has overtaken you that is not common to man. God is faithful, and he will not let you be tempted beyond your strength, but with the temptation will also provide the way of escape that you may be able to endure it. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Canticle number 19 the Song of the Redeemed. O ruler of the universe, Lord God, great deeds are they that you have done, surpassing human understanding. Your ways are ways of righteousness and truth, O King of all the ages. Who can fail to do you homage, Lord, and sing the praises of your name? For you only are the Holy One. All nations will draw near and fall down before you because your just and holy works have been revealed. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the Gospel according to St. Matthew. When Jesus saw he gave orders to go over to the other side, and a scribe came up and said to him, Teacher, I will follow you wherever you go. And Jesus said to him, Foxes have holes, and birds of the air have nests. But the Son of Man has nowhere to lay his head. Another of the disciples said to him, Lord, let me first go and bury my father. But Jesus said to him, Follow me and leave the dead to bury their own dead. And when he got into the boat, the disciples followed him. And behold, there arose a great storm on the sea so that the boat was being swamped by the waves, but he was asleep. And they went and woke him, saying, Save, Lord, we are perishing. And he said to them, Why are you afraid, O men of little faith? Then he rose and rebuked the winds and the sea, and there was a great calm. And the men marveled, saying, What sort of man is this? that even the winds and the sea obey him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. 
He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Show us your mercy, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and sustain us with your Holy Spirit. The Collect for Proper 21 O God, you declare your almighty power chiefly in showing mercy and pity. Grant us the fullness of your grace, that we, running to obtain your promises, may become partakers of your heavenly treasure. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A Collect for Saturdays. Almighty God, who after the creation of the world rested from all your works and sanctified a day of rest for all your creatures, grant that we, putting away all earthly anxieties, may be duly prepared for the service of your sanctuary, and that our rest here upon earth may be a preparation for the eternal rest promised to your people in heaven, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. <clears throat> Almighty and everlasting God, by whose spirit the whole body of your faithful people is governed and sanctified, receive our supplications and prayers which we offer before you for all members of your holy church, that in their vocation and ministry they may truly and devoutly serve you through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Saturdays are traditionally dedicated to the Blessed Virgin Mary. So I have selected a Marian hymn for this morning. Immaculate Mary, page 532 in the Ramus Hymnal. Immaculate Mary, thy praises we sing, who reignest in splendor with Jesus our King. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave, Ave Maria. In heaven the blessed thy glory proclaim, on earth we thy children invoke thy fair name. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave, Ave Maria. 
Romeo. Thy name is our power, thy virtues our light. Thy love is our comfort, thy pleading our might. Ave, ave, ave Maria, ave, ave Maria. We pray for our mother, the church upon earth, and bless, dearest lady, the land of our birth. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave, Ave Maria. Intercessions for Saturday morning of week two in the short book of shorter Christian prayer. Let us celebrate the kindness and wisdom of Christ. He offers his love and understanding to all men, especially to the suffering. Let us, let us earnestly pray to him, perfect us in love, Lord. This morning we would call your resurrection and we long for the benefits of your redemption. Perfect us in love, Lord. Grant that we bear witness to you today, Lord, and offer an acceptable gift to the Father through you. Perfect us in love, Lord. Enable us to see your image in all men and to serve you in them. Perfect us in love, Lord. Lord Jesus, you are the true vine and we are the branches. Allow us to remain in you, to bear much fruit, and to give glory to the Father. Perfect us in love, Lord. Lord, we praise you with our lips and with our lives and hearts. Our very existence is a gift from you. To you we offer all that we have and are. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen.